Hi everyone, welcome back and also happy, happy new year. Uh, I cannot believe we're in 2023, which honestly boggles my mind because 2022 was like right there and now it's gone and now we're in 2023, which is just crazy. Um, So I hope everybody had an amazing 2022, an amazing holiday season and we're entering 2023 with a lot of I don't know, jazz hands. So um, hopefully everybody is having a fun time. And with that, I'm going to start off, I guess, the year with a haul video. Um, I haven't done videos in what feels like a while now. So I'm going to just do a haul, show you guys some of the stuff I purchased um, the end of 2022 and then the start of 2023. So if you're interested in today's video, please do stay tuned. And just for full disclosure, I do currently work for Coach as a sales associate. However, all the bags on my channel are for my own personal collection. And I'm just here to share with you guys my personal love for handbags. And if you guys like these kind of videos, please do consider liking and subscribing. And you can also follow me on Instagram too for more handbag related content. So the first bag is going to be the Rogue 20, and this one here is in the smooth black gloved hand leather, and it features beautiful silver hardware. And I bought this bag definitely more so on impulse, just because I just love the look of this bag. Um, I think the black with the silver hardware looks really stunning. And if I'm being honest, I am somebody who doesn't like silver hardware on my bags. I personally like brass, um, but the silver hardware here looks so good against these smooth smooth black leather and coach did a I would say this is like a super glossy shiny silver hardware but it is a little bit more like on the brush side and looks really good against the black here and as you can see it has a little bit of that contrast stitching too on the rogue and like that honey stitching and it has the classic rogue features of the top handle the shoulder straps and on the interior it also is leather lined as well and another thing too is that since this is the Rogue 20 bag, it is a little bit larger than the Rogue 17. And I'm definitely going to do a video over this particular style and do more so comparison. But I did want to point that out as well that this is definitely a little bit larger than the Rogue 17 bag. Um, but here's a quick look at the first bag. So the second bag is going to be a Rogue 20 as well, and it is a little bit different than the first one. It is going to be in a plaid print, and this one is in the blue-green combination. Um, they launched this bag for mainly the holiday season, and there was two versions of it. So this one here is in the blue-green combo, and the other version was like in the color cherry, so it's like a deep red color. And I believe it had like pops of yellow throughout the plaid print, which was really beautiful. And as you can see, the bag here here that I got is in that blue green combination and the colors are pretty subdued so I don't know if the ring light is distorting that um, but the blue and the green do kind of look pretty similar together but in natural lighting you can tell that there's a color difference and the other thing too is that you can see that this is definitely a 3D print is what I call it it's more so like a debossed effect on the gloved hand leather here so you can definitely tell that the bag is um, like textured on the glove hand, which I think is really awesome. And it's also like on the sides too here, as you can see, and then definitely the front and back. And this one features the silver hardware. So here's a quick close up of that silver hardware. And again, it's not super shiny. It's more so along the lines, like a brushed silver. And the inside again is lined in leather as well. And this one's a really, really deep blue. So I don't know if you guys are able to see that there, but it is a deep navy. And then the belting detail on this bag is going to be in the black leather. And there is a little bit of contrast stitching too throughout the bag. Um, but I see this one is really cute. And the reason why I got this one over the red print is just because I feel like this one doesn't scream so much as like festive holiday season. I feel like this one looks a little more classic so combining things with like a cream like t-shirt or like a cream like sweatshirt like a sweater would look really could like really good with this bag and I don't know it's just like super cute so that's why I got it. Next bag is definitely something that is a little more fun and is a bag I'm actually using right now and it is the Demi Shoulder bag in the color Petunia. Um, if you guys know me, you guys know that I love the color pink and this is such 
like the perfect pink bag. Um, I already have a couple of handbags in the color Petunia already and it is definitely my favorite shade of pink from Coach. So I have the Hero shoulder bag which is that top handle style and then also the quilted pillow Madison 18 as well. So I just decided to get the Demi shoulder bag in this beautiful jacquard print and it definitely is pulling from the Coach archives and it says it here on the hang tag too that is um, from 2003. It's kind of hard to like see it but this bag does have two hang tags which I think is pretty cool so it's in like the gold foil there um, but it talks a little bit about the bag on the hang tag um, but as you can see it is in the jacquard print with a little bit of leather trim and I don't know I just think this bag is so cute um, this bag did also come in five colorways too so petunia pink there's the lake blue which is kind of like a soft murky grayish blue color then there is oak which is the really deep brown sea print then there is the green and then then also I believe a red as well. So there were five versions of this bag and I decided to get the pink one. Some of the details of the Demi shoulder bag is that it does feature a front zip pocket which is actually like a really smooth zipper. It's lined in a fabric material which is a really thick cotton linen lining just like the Rogue bags will have the same lining as well. Um, this pocket is pretty generous. I just haven't used it yet but it is pretty spacious and then has a zip top closure as well and then I have my items in there and it does fit a pretty good size wallet too so if you're curious like this is the medium zip wallet from Coach and it fits perfectly in this bag. Um, so super spacious. It has a little zip pocket in the back there. Um, the shoulder strap cannot be used crossbody. It does have adjustments though so you can make it longer or shorter and it is also in the brass hardware as well and I will definitely be making a video talking more about this bag separately. So taking a little break from the handbags we are going to be talking about some SLGs and the first one is this really cute pink wristlet here and this one is just like a standard wristlet from Coach so it has like the wristlet strap and then the zip top closure um, but this one is from the Lunar New Year collection so this year here is Year of the Rabbit. So there's a cute little rabbit on the front there and it says Coach underneath it. And some of the items from this collection too are super cute because they have the freaking rabbit charm. So as you can see there is a cute little silver rabbit on this one. It has little crystal eyes too which I think are so cute. And this one has a little like wine color hang tag which is really cute as well. Um, but I just love the fact that the some of the items in this collection have this really cute little rabbit charm. And it's a very substantial charm as well. Um, so super duper cute and then the inside of this wristlet is going to be lined in fabric and has two credit card slots. Um, but yeah it is a super cute little wristlet and I just love the little rabbit too. The next item is going to be a card case and is this little guy right here and this is in the color hyacinth so it's like a really rich like pink color it's um, pretty deep as well and it features brass hardware with like the little C there on the front and then um, the gold zipper on top and it's a newer card case style for coach and I think it's a really beautiful design. I love the softer rounded corners here on the bottom and I also love the little C hardware as well. So you get three card slots on the front and the back and then the new zip feature as well which I think is pretty cool for change or just like smaller stuff. Um, but it's also lined in leather as well, which I think is really cool. Um, and then there is, again, your card slots there. But I just think this is such a cute little pink card case. And again, I love the color pink, so I just decided to add this into my collection. Um, the other version of this card case is actually a um, pewter color, kind of like a metallic silver. And that one features the gunmetal hardware. So there is that. Now the next handbag is going to be the Bandit Crossbody bag and I decided to add this one to my collection. This one is from the Lunar New Year collection as well and again is in the powder pink color and this one's a little bit different just because this is the first Bandit shoulder bag I believe that Coach has combined the signature canvas into like the um materials rotation for this collection. So as you can see it has the signature canvas here on the front and on the front body of the bag as well here and it is in pink leather as well but I think what makes this particular style really beautiful is the binding detail that goes around the bag. I think that looks really good wrapping around the signature canvas print and it again is in this really soft um, baby pink color as well with the silver hardware and because it is a part of the Lunar New Year collection it does have a really cute little rabbit charm here on the side and you get your little hang tag as well 
just like any of the other bandit crossbody bags it does have the long shoulder strap which you can adjust to make it longer or shorter to your desired length and for me i just have it at the middle setting um and then you can also double up the strap to carry it over the shoulder as well and here is what it looks like um and it's in a really soft pink color to match the body of the bag and then on the inside it does have some organizations so you have three compartments and then you have a little pocket here as well i really don't use this pocket so i just kind of leave nothing in here um but, but sometimes i'll put like the paperwork or the bag and whatnot in here as well so there's that um but i just love this little style so much i think this is one of my favorite like smaller crossbody bags from coach just because it is very like classic in its look i feel like and i just love the i don't know the bag designs that they always do with like the leather woven through the top like this i think they're really good so there is that one the very last bag in today's haul is going to be this one right here, which is the Bandit Crossbody bag in the plaid print. Um, I just think this plaid print is so, so cute. Um, this is in the color Sport Red. So Sport Red is a lot more bright and vivid in comparison to the Cherry Plaid. The Cherry Plaid print, I feel like, is a little more subdued, like I mentioned earlier. So I just really love this bright pop of red. Um, and again, it does have that yellow print going through. And just like the Rogue as well, it does have that 3d like texture on the um design too and this one isn't like as 3d as the rogue so here is the rogue in comparison so you can see how i feel like the rogue here has more of that print that stands out while this is a little more flat um but there's that but this bag is so cute i just love the silver hardware too a lot of these bags here have silver hardware which again is very shocking because i personally like brass hardware um but this one features the silver hardware and it looks really good against the black leather that they um trimmed this bag with i don't usually do like plaid print but for some reason i think this little crossbody bag is super duper cute um i think it was like the larger full-size bandit shoulder bag i personally wouldn't like it just because i think the plaid print is a little overwhelming um but in the smaller compact size i think it's super duper cute and wearing something pulling one of these colors here like the yellow or the black and just having that little plaid print is super fun so i think this bag is super cute and again, I think the silver hardware looks really good as well. And combining this bag with a bag chain would look really cool. So, love this little guy a lot. So that does it for today's video over some of my recent purchases. If you guys have any questions on these items, just leave a comment down below and I can try to help you out that way. Or you can also message me on Instagram. I do reply back a lot faster over there. So I can definitely help you out if you have questions. Um, but if you did like today's video, please do consider liking and subscribing. And then again, you can follow me on Instagram. Instagram too for more handbag stuff and again also hopefully everybody has a great start to 2023 and yeah other than that guys have a great rest of your day bye